Well guys, this is Guruji Online and today again I have brought you a very beautiful J Advanced question. This is a real time J Advanced question and this has come in 2001. This pertains to the Huygens principle of interference. Before proceeding to the question, I request you to please subscribe my channel. These questions are very useful and time to time whatever questions I bring you, uh, at least you will be able to see that. So please subscribe my channel. Now let us see what is the question. A vessel ABCD of 10 cm width had two small slits S1 and S2. So these are two small slits S1 and S2 sealed with identical glass plates of equal thickness. The distance between the slits is 0.8 mm. So what is given? Let us see what is given. Given is D is equal to 0.8 mm. POQ is the line perpendicular plane AB and passing through O. The middle point of S1 and S2. A monochromatic source is kept S 40 cm below point P. So this is the, our monochromatic source. And it is 2 meter from the vessel. To illuminate the slits as shown in the figure alongside, calculate the position of the central bright fringe. We have to calculate the position of the central bright fringe on the other wall CD with respect to the line OQ. So suppose our central bright fringe is coming here, which is the point R. Now we have to see what is the path difference of different rays coming to point R and interfering. So let us draw the ray diagram. This will come like this and like this. Oh, sorry. So the ray diagram will be from the source like this and this and here like this and this correct. So this is the ray diagram. In this portion suppose delta x1 is the path difference between these two rays. And in this portion, delta x is the path difference between two rays. Then, as we know, at the central bright fringe, the path difference is zero. That means this path difference, delta x1 and delta x2, that must be equal. What is the path difference? Delta x1 and x2. This is nothing but D sine alpha is equal to D sine theta. Now you will be asking what is alpha and theta. So alpha and theta is nothing but these are the angles. So this is alpha and this is theta. Suppose this distance is y1 and this distance is y2. Correct. So here we can write dd cancels out sin theta sin alpha is equal to sin theta or since alpha is more or less equal to theta that means we can take this also is equal to tan theta that means y1 upon d1 is equal to y2 upon d2 
what is y1, y1 and y2 we know, this is your d1 and this is your d2. That means y1 we have to find out, y1 will be equal to y2 into d1 upon d2. That means y2 is nothing but given as 40 centimeter, d1 is given as 10 centimeter and d2 is nothing but 2 meter. That means 2 meter means 200 centimeter. So this will come as 2 centimeter. So at a distance from Q, at a distance from Q, you will have the bright frame. So, so this is the answer of the part A or you can say part 1. In this question part 2 is also given which reads as a liquid is poured into the vessel and filled up to OQ. The central bright frame is found at Q. Now when the liquid is poured up to OQ, means in this portion liquid is poured, then now the central bright frame is seen as at Q, at this distance. For a diagram for the part B will be like this, since central bright frame is now at Q, then that will be like this. Correct? So here the part difference is 0. The only part difference is delta x1 and that is adjusted by the whatever liquid we have poured. Then only we can have the bright fringe at Q. So part B means we have the bright fringe at Q for bright fringe at Q we have a delta x1 whatever part difference in the first portion is there that's, that must be equal to the shifting due to the liquid pore and that what is that that is mu minus 1 into T De what is delta x1? Delta x1 is nothing but d sine alpha and this we can write it as 0.8 mm into here sine alpha we can take as tan alpha and that will be nothing but 40 centimeter upon 200, 200 centimeter and this will come as 0.16 mm. So 0.16 mm is delta x1. So if we equate this q minus 1 t is equal to 0.16 mm. Here, what is T? T is nothing but 10 centimeter or 100 mm. Correct? So, mu minus 1 will be nothing but 0.16 upon 100 or we can write it as 0.0 0 0.016 uh, or mu will be nothing but 1 plus 0 0.0016, 0 1.00. So this is the refractive index of the liquid poured in the vessel and that is the second part answer. So just see, the question was very easy, it has come in the J advance. So likewise, I am going to bring more and more problem for you. You are requested to please subscribe my channel today itself. 
so that you should not miss any of the videos which I am uploading. Thank you very much.